Hello and welcome to another edition of Tom's Toolbox. I'm your host, Tom Clark, and today I'm going to show you how to install Power Twist Roller Drive from Fenner Drives. Now, no matter what equipment you are operating, productivity is extremely critical, right? Yeah, okay, I'm glad we can both agree on that. Now, Power Twist Roller Drive is a drop-in replacement for V-belts on belt-driven live roller conveyors. Now, it's easily and quickly installed without dismantling the conveyor, and it's proven to outlast and outperform rubber belts on curve applications. It's best suited for conveyors that require B-section V-belts or 9 16 inch round profile belts. Now, before we would get started on something like this, what would we do? Yeah, we'd put on the proper PPE. It could be just glasses, could be glasses and gloves. You never know, it's whatever the job calls for because safety is always priority number one. Now first, I'm gonna show you how to assemble the belt itself. Now it comes in a box, you can pull out you know, whatever sections that you need as far as length is concerned. All right, pay attention now. This is real simple, okay, and it's gonna go kinda quick. All I'm gonna do is I've got my two sections right here. I'm gonna kinda pull this down and I'm gonna feed this tab. It's kinda of like putting together Christmas toys, really, when you think about it. Insert slot A into tab B. I got tab B, I got slot A. It doesn't really say that, but this is kinda of self-explanatory. All right, so I've got this tab right here, okay? So I got this tab. I'm gonna kinda of peel this little area back right here. See, I've got these two tabs. I wanna get it through these two tabs in here. So I'm gonna take this, and then I'm going to feed this through here, and you can see, as it comes through on this side, right here. That's the tab that I want to, want, to, want to get through, and I'm going to try and work that around. There you go. See that come through like that? It's kind of like a twist, and then boom, and then I'm good right there. Okay, now I'm going to finish this last little slot right here. This is almost like a rifle sight. I like that. I've got this tab right here, and then I've got this slot right here. You can see it's kind of like in a chair position. It kind of looks like a small chair. So what I want to do is I want to take <clears throat> this slot right here, and I want to put this tab in there, and you can kind of do that just by turning this just a little bit. You can turn it either way, all right? And then kind of lead it with that end, and then you can see how that pops through, all right? And then you're gonna work it through a little bit, and there it goes. And so it's in like such. And now I've got my belt and it's ready to go to install on my conveyor. It's that simple. But first we need to determine the direction of drive rotation. It's either gonna be clockwise or counterclockwise. Now, the belt needs to be installed with the tabs trailing. So for this particular one right here, this is the way the conveyor is gonna be rolling this way, okay? You can see the wheels, they're gonna be rolling in a clockwise mechanism, all right? And then back here, you're gonna be able to see, we'll get our cameras back here, do you see that? That the tabs are actually trailing. Now, once we roll it on, we adjust the tension with an adjustment mechanism to finish the job, and that's gonna make it nice and tight. Now, for this demo purpose, we, we couldn't actually fit this on the back here, but you know what I'm talking about, to make sure that it's just right tight. Okay, that does it for this edition of Tom's Toolbox. Hey, be sure to check out other videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Just go to the website, mihowto.com. Thanks so much for watching, and hopefully this conveyed all the information to you. God, that was a really bad pun.